Hey everybody, it's Bristol Dirt in the cup car, and this is horrible for me. I do not know what I'm missing here. I was, I was, it was the same way last year in this car at Bristol Dirt. I don't, I don't know what I'm missing. Um, yeah, I'm 20th out of 24 cars, I think there are. And a bunch of them didn't qualify. Oh, 29 cars. So I'm 20th out of 22 that qualified. And no, I haven't practiced, but yeah, I'm still like way, way, way off. So I'm not sure what I'm missing. I'm curious to see what the heck these guys are doing to get through the corner. So um, basically for me, it just plows on the entry, the front tires just slide and you have to be so committed. You have to have it flat to the floor to even have a chance on it to rotate. But I don't know. That doesn't seem to be how they should drive. If you ask me, I don't think that's how they drove in real life last year. So I don't know. I can't tell the difference between last year's car and this year's car here and I know that last year's car did not drive like this in real life so <laughs> I don't know All right, man, we're going green next time. All right. we'll see if I can figure anything out um, this does end up being uh, your dirt I rating and safety rating which is good uh, I never run dirt so not gonna be too worried about it I'm just gonna see if I can figure out what the heck's going on back here. It's gonna be a bunch of cautions. Um, I don't know. It's a good thing I'm back here though, because that would be an absolute roadblock if I was any farther forward. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I've just been hanging out in fourth gear in uh, the few practice laps after qualifying, so. And I'm going to be in the wall a lot. There's the first time, just hit it with the right rear. Yeah, I'm so slow. I, I do not get it. The only way I can make the corner with any kind of speed is if I just pitch it ridiculously hard like that and pray that I don't push up into the wall. So I guess that's what I'm going to do here. Yeah, see, didn't rotate up for me that time. And I'm going backwards but at least I'm keeping it clean so far got the one car back here for some reason comes down off the corner and doors me see if I got anything on the bottom here and the first of many cautions Okay, so I know less than I knew before, so that's good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't have much to say because I don't know what the heck's going on, so. Definitely not going to learn anything from this video. It's just going to be pretty much like a car accident you can't look away from, I'm guessing. Um, I can't say that I can tell any difference between Bristol last year and Bristol this year. They did the banking a little bit different. It's supposed to be more progressive banking. Um, I will say that if you get down um, where the apron is, it's a, it seems like it's like you can't run all the way down there because the car just 
totally you, you'll lose it if you go down there like uh if you get down on this transition right here it's over right here so and i could be remembering it wrong but i felt like last year you could get really really low at least on iRacing so you're not able to do that like i said right here this transition right there and I did not, I only ran this like one or two times last year, so I'm not going to pretend to be an expert, but I'm pretty sure that's different. And like I said, I, when I was the fastest, I was right on the outside of this slick right here, um, even when it's not slicked off here. But right about here is where I've been the fastest. Um, so maybe that's a little bit of that progressive banking working. Uh, I'm not sure. But I think, I don't know, if last year was any indication, I wouldn't take too much from this and try to apply it to real life. So, because real life last year, they were pretty much just running it like pavement. Um... They were kind of just backing up the corners and riding around the bottom and trying to keep it as straight as possible. So, definitely not what we got going on here. I'm on the chip in third gear going down the straightaway, so I can't imagine that anybody else is doing anything else right, other than running in fourth. Right, I don't know. I might have to watch the replay and just get in like one of the leader's cars and see if I can listen and see what they're doing just out of curiosity because <laughs> I cannot believe I'm this far off. It's just... <laughs> Kind of comical. Get ready. I just want to not ruin anybody's day at this point. Like I said, I'm not even worried about my I rating or safety rating for dirt, so just don't want to screw up anybody else. Real sideways off of two. Just all over the place. Kind of taking up the whole track here. I'm sure the 29 is not appreciating that. And another caution. Does seem like I'm doing a little bit better job getting it to rotate so far than I expected um, but it's it's been just good enough to hang out here in 24th so it's not like I'm gonna be going anywhere um, not sure okay. just want to make sure I wasn't gonna get penalized there for the 25 car not catching me Just had my pedals apart and back together before this race. I tried something different. I tried just spraying WD-40 inside the potentiometer instead of actually taking it all the way apart. So I um, have to go back on the replay and make sure my throttle pedal's doing okay. Um, I just ran a race at Daytona in the Arca series and couldn't tell when I was in the car, but... Um, getting off a of pit road and stuff whenever I'd let off the gas it was flickering down there at the bottom so I've had these pedals apart literally no joke probably 15 or 20 times in the two years that I've had them so hopefully I can I, I need to figure out a different solution I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy the 3d printed potentiometers or I think that's what they are. 
I really don't want to bite the bullet and buy new pedals, but I might have to. Definitely not getting the G29s the again. <laughs> but my WD-40 fix seems to be working so far. I was kind of hoping it wouldn't so I'd have a little bit of an excuse. <laughs> So I guess the plan at this point is just to try and maintain on these restarts and the guys up front that wreck, hopefully I can just get those free spots and hang on to them. If, I'm, if I can get the top hooked up a little bit, it's going to be hard to pass. So I guess if I'm trying to be defensive, I'd rather be good on the top than the bottom. So, but. Just gotta remember that what the goal is here and just to not wreck anybody today. Get ready. Every corner that that I get into and and don't just plow the front tires, I feel accomplished. Yeah, real tight off a of four that time. That was kind of weird. Haven't had that yet. Okay. Seems to be pretty hard to pass for everybody, so hopefully that's not just me. Got the uh, oh, I thought the one car behind me was gonna pit. <laughs> I was not gonna understand that. If I ever get some space, I'm gonna have to pay attention to what everybody else is doing. Right now, I'm just surviving, running the only line I can get to uh, make sense to me. Should be restarting on the outside this time, so. I need to, I'm curious if the one car qualified back here. There's no way. He, he just must have not qualified. Yeah, because there was only two guys behind me that qualified, so. Not sure why you would have done that, especially since this race is, we're already 20 laps in here with all these caution laps. Hopefully we can get a little bit of a green flag run probably I don't know on road courses they disable cautions for all the series that I know of it might not be a bad idea to do it here too I don't know probably not Basically, like, do you want it to be a demo derby or do you want it to be a caution fest? Pretty much the decision there. Getting really sideways in the center the last couple of times, and then whenever I'm not really sideways, I'm real tight getting off the corner. So we'll see if I can. See if I can survive another restart here. Ready. 
Really slow and late restart here. Got bumper cars all through. Yep. Knew that was coming. Got the one car all the way up, like five cars ahead of me. Not sure how he did that. Oh, almost snuck to the outside of the three. Got the wall instead. I'm going to come down here this time. Yeah, I just have no control of it though. Like, Pushed up so high, and then that car came down across my nose there. I don't think that was my fault, but I don't think that I was the cause of that right there. Yeah, okay. Got somebody else that went around too, so. Oh boy, this is rough. Curious to see that replay. I don't know who it was that came together with, but I don't. I thought I had it under control enough to where if he was running the top, he shouldn't have come down into me, but I could be wrong. This is just <laughs> embarrassing at this point. Holy cow. I know I don't run dirt, but my god. I can at least. In a real dirt car, I can at least figure it out and get, like, improve and run mid pack. But this is just not agreeing with me. That's the other thing. If I ever have to stomp on the brakes, this thing's coming around because I got as much rear brake in it as you can 44% forward. Already halfway done here. All right, we're halfway to the finish. You know it's bad when you can't even scroll up to see the leaders in your relative box. <laughs> well. This is definitely not going to be one of those weeks that I run until I figure it out. I'm going to be done with this, at least in the cup car. Right after we cross the uh, finish line for lap 55, so. Definitely prefer the real Bristol. I racing version and the real version, so. I wish they didn't do this, but. All right, man, we're going green that's next just my line. opinion. See if I can make any passes. I think I made one, but I 
body slam the one card to do it, so. <laughs> See if I can make any legitimate passes. Big wreck. Still wrecking. And still wrecking. Nice. Goodness. All right, so just trying to sneak through there and had guys not paying attention after they already wrecked. So another 2x, but not a big deal. Maybe get a top 20 if enough guys quit. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to try and run the bottom here if I get the chance. Just need to try and figure out something. Like I said, I can run the top and maintain if I just if I do it perfectly. <laughs> Hopefully if you're watching this, you're much better at this this week. It just seems so unnatural to me. It's just weird. I do, I swear, I promise I do okay like in modifieds and stuff. Even here. Because I know I ran... Uh, at least the small block modified here and was pretty good so I don't know something about a stock car on dirt at least my throttle pedal seems to be fixed alright so we got 18 laps to go here when we get the green. We'll see how many of them are actual green flag laps. Going too fast there in the center, had to get on the brakes. Almost passed somebody. Another wreck. Oh, the caution didn't need to come out for that. Man. Okay, even if I was good, I don't know if I'd be able to move forward at this point. Although the one car is up to ninth, so. But he's also the one car, so.
I feel like I wouldn't be that bad if I got a bunch of laughs in a row. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to make passes, but I don't know. If I wouldn't have gotten spun the one time, maybe I'd be up in the top 15 at least. I'm so sorry if you clicked on this video. Uh, oh my god, I think my brake pedal, I just watched my brake pedal do the same thing that my throttle was doing before. <laughs> oh. What a mess. So this is me holding it right here. Is it going to flicker? I'm hoping. I just imagine that or I'm going to be a little bit annoyed. Oh, yep. It just did it again. <laughs> uh. Sweet. Okay. Gotta entertain myself somehow over here. <sighs> I guess I'll be taking my pedals apart again instead of eating. That's fine. Is there any way we can go the rest of the way green? What an upset that would be. Yep, every time I, well not every time, but if I, if I hold the brake like this and then let off quick, it's flickering back. Every once in a while, I swear I've seen it do it three or four times. That's the same thing my throttle was doing earlier. Can I somehow steal a top 15? If I could get in the top 15, I don't even care if I had to pass a bunch of wrecked cars to get there. That would be a major win at this point. There's no way anybody's restarting it. Well, oh, they might be. Man, I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's hard for me to drive straight down the straightaways, so. And then I'm dead sideways in the center of that time. Another wreck. That was the one car. <sighs> this is the first race of the week here. I have no idea which split it is. Um, I d couldn't even tell you my dirt I rating. 25 something. 2500 something. But. Yeah. I don't know if this is. Like I said. Top split. Best case scenario. Or. But what a mess. Definitely don't feel the need to do this again. Like I said, I'll probably run the truck race. Just to say I did it. But then, uh... I'm going to be doing some legend car racing. I think that was at the Brickyard. I don't think I've ever run that thing there. Might be interesting. Those cars never even ran there. 
the 80s cars. So that's kind of weird. Never thought about that. Alright, I'm going to be on the outside again. This time I'm going to try and be as close to the 28 as possible. So, because i got to figure something out. I'm losing half a straightaway every time just trying to be conservative. So I'm going to try and start as close as I can to them so that way I can still manage the rear tires and not hook myself into the wall. Just going to try and maintain here and then when they wreck up ahead, hopefully get by it. Like I said, maybe still a top 15, that'd be best case scenario. I feel like the first run of the race was our longest green flag run, and it might have been like five laps. I don't even know if it was five, but we definitely haven't had anywhere close to five if, after that, so. I would say if you're watching this, try it this week, but don't have any expectations <laughs> unless you're one of those people that's got this figured out. But even still, you're going to have to qualify on the front row probably to have a shot. Not necessarily the front row, but top five or six, you know. With how many caution laps we've had. All right, so I'm going to stay close to them through three and four here and try and not put myself at such a disadvantage going into one. We'll see if I spin the rear tires and wreck it. Checking up hard. Just baby in the throttle the entire lap that time. Oh, I got shoved up into the wall that time. And I'm back to going backwards. That guy hit the wall on his own and spun. I did not touch him. Whoa, we got a parking lot. This is the Martinsville Xfinity race replay. Okay. Dang, if I wouldn't have, if I wouldn't have got pushed up into the wall there, I might be actually in a decent spot right here. Some reason I'm supposed to be passing all these guys. All right, that was a lot of guys that wrecked right there. Man, I'd be in the top ten if I didn't if I didn't get uh, moved up into the wall there. I know I don't, I don't even know if he touched me, but I saw him coming up and I kind of un, unwound the wheel. So thirteenth, oh god. So for a green white checker, I'm going to be on the bottom. <laughs> I haven't had to try and run the bottom pretty much the whole race, so just trying to keep it pointed straight. There's no way we make it two laps. I had one good uh, lap there, passed a couple guys on the outside, but. One good, one good corner out of, uh, you know, a hundred something. These cautions do seem long. I don't know that much about high racing dirt, but it seems like the few times that I've done it with cautions, the cautions are like quickie yellows. <laughs> so. 
I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm going to look at see how many caution laps we run after the race or if I even want to know. So my issue here on this restart is either going to be getting run over from behind, trying to slow down and run the bottom, or over rotating about right here in the center, and then getting my nose hung up on this transition right here. I'm afraid that's probably what I'm going to do. So, yeah, would really be nice if I was on the top, but... I've gotten to be on the top in a bunch of restarts in a row, so it's about time I figured out how to do it from down here. Um, let's see how many we got. Only 17 on the lead lap, I guess, so not going to go that far backwards. Gonna follow the one here and kind of just try and mirror him, maybe? I don't know. Whoa. Get ready. Alright, one more time. Here we go. Turned down into from the top. I think that was a 26. And that's it. I was trying really hard to keep it down there off those guys, and then yeah, one guy, 26, just turned left. But that's all right. I'm not, not even sure if I got an incident out of it. Oh. Okay. Well, thank God that's over. Looks like 11th, maybe, somehow. Literally, maybe past like four cars the entire race. But I guess I just picked the right restarts to keep it straight. I'm going to outrun my car number for the first time in like years. <laughs> Not really, but. Oh, God. I'm sorry if you watched all that. I'm going to make it even more painful and go through the incidents. So. Okay. Oh, wow. Didn't realize I was missing the nose off the car. Alright. So, while we're here, can we appreciate this paint job wait a minute I worked way too hard for way too long on this this paint job so I'm gonna show you so basically if I can figure out what I'm doing here come on basically I watched Smokey and the Bandit and huge fan of that movie and I had an idea to cut out the trailer scene, the mural. And so I cut cut all the horses out and stuff and put them on the side of the car. And it didn't make a lot of sense. It was just kind of random <laughs> for as much time as I spent cutting all those out online. So um, anyway, I had the horses on there by themselves. And then I was like, huh. Maybe I can take the bandit theme a little bit farther. So I looked up um, like a like a bandana material kind of online. And so I found the material that I wanted and then I had to splice it all together and rotate it all just right. <laughs> so it all lined up, which is ridiculous. But that's what I did. And if my front bumper wasn't gone, you could see that um, the bandana wraps around the front, so it's 
it stops here at the hood so it kind of looks like the car is wearing a bandana <laughs> and the hardest part was back here I had to find a different image that was like a tied bandana and then I had to kind of like mold it all together right in here so it's not perfect but if you don't look at it real close I'll zoom out so it looks good uh, it kind of looks like the bayonet is tied back there so I don't know I thought that was kind of cool <laughs> and then uh, they were running Coors beer in the movie so the hood just kind of looked kind of plain so I slapped the uh, throwback Coors logo on there so I don't know it's uh I don't know. It's an example of uh, what not to do. Don't spend your life making paint jobs. But <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go back and I don't know. We'll see how many of these wrecks I can make it through without going nuts. Unless this is just going to freeze. There we go. Uh, fourth place car. Yeah, we're not watching all these. Um, I'm just going to watch my moments, I think. I was keeping it together decently at the start. I was being super conservative. Um, I guess we'll just skip to first time I have damage. See if I survive this one. Oops. Um, I'm trying to struggling to even remember when I had something happen. I know I'm gonna end up pointed backwards here one of these times. Yep, that was it. Okay. Let's see if I can see what happened. I was, oh yeah, 20 just came way down off the wall, so, okay, that wasn't my fault. And then I wasn't the caution, because these guys spun up here, so I don't feel, I don't feel too bad about that. Um, and then there was a wreck, a big wreck that I was trying to sneak through after I thought they were all stopped. And... Yeah. Oh yeah, the 22 got kind of hit into me, so that wasn't as embarrassing as I thought it was either, I guess. Um, I think that was the time I said I would actually had some speed and through the corner I had to slow down. Um, another big wreck. Oh, not a big one. No, oh, that was the one I said shouldn't have been a caution. Um, let's see here. I had, I know that I had one good lap going, and um, so let's see if I can find when I got shoved up into the wall here. Maybe I think it was this one. Didn't even get past half throttle that entire time. Eh, he didn't. He actually did a pretty good job staying off me. I just looked over and got a little bit nervous and had to bail out of it. So, and then I guess what the heck happened there? I don't remember that. I kind of followed him up into the wall. Oh, I didn't. Oh, that was the one I didn't touch him. I slammed on the brakes. And then there's a, just a huge parking lot. Okay, and then we'll check out the last restart, I suppose. Actually having her on the bottom for the first time. And 
I was on the break here, just making sure I stayed off of everybody, and then, yeah, this guy just comes down and gets me. And that was it. So, sorry if you watched all the way through that. Um, I guess my advice would be, unless you are really fast and you know what you're doing, I would say just try and keep it pointed straight, try and stay out of the wall, try and stay off of all the other cars, and you're going to end up in the top 5 or 10 by the end of it if you can just stay out of the mess. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, hope that doesn't deter you from coming back. <laughs> uh, see you next time.